culture is at an all-time high, and games are stepping up, going beyond the port. The remake of Resident Evil for the GameCube dipped its pinky toe into the pool, but Lara Croft swan dives headfirst, making a big splash. Her first foray into Tomb Raiding lives on, in this reimagining of her very first game, making proper bookends for the PlayStation and PlayStation 2 eras. She had the chops in 96, but how's she rocking in 07? Grab a bunch of Hollywood action cliches and mix with a bountiful busty gal. Lara's globetrotting takes her to a bunch of sites in search of rare artifacts and a little bit of international espionage. Good times don't require brain cells. Chapters start and close with titillating cutscenes that any adrenaline junkie can admire, some of them borrowing the Shenmue certified Resident Evil 4 approved QuickTime events, making previously scripted events interactive. It's popcorn, but with this much artificial butter, it sure is tasty. Just take all of it with a few grains of salt. I'd move on if I were you. The OG Tomb Raider made its mark with 3D freedom and cavernous caverns. While Anniversary hasn't quite stepped up to 4D, those caverns and mountains remain intact. Tweaks have been applied, certain parts are expanded, while some formerly pre-rendered scenes have been transformed into fully playable outings. But those twisty little passages are back, and they're still worth exploring. There's bound to be frustration and quandary for anyone who hasn't played the original, but it's sure to be nullified with the sense of scope and awe. Tomb Raider was designed in a day when 3D worlds were still new, but the architecture hasn't taken any hits. It's far more raw and organic than what modern gamers are used to, but it's part of a near-invisible charm that today's games have sort of lost from concentrating on being overly fair to the player. There's a true sense of exploration and chance accompanied with every exasperated Hail Mary jump and grab. It's the sort of game you can get lost in, but rarely stuck. Artifacts can hide from even the most stalwart spelunker's sight. And that's alright because replaying a level is a treat as you go for more relics and artifacts to unlock more anniversary content like bios and costumes. Not to mention Lara's funhouse mansion, which would make an American gladiator blush. Each level also features a time trial mode and commentary, bringing the full Tomb Raider effect. It's a lot of content for a budget price game, and content that you'll actually want to access. The shackles of the old digital grid-based movement are gone, with Lara taking up the analog cause and all of its niceties, like camera control, stylish dodges, and precise shooting, combined with a new grappling hook straight out of last year's Tomb Raider Legend. Actually, the entire game has been pulled from Legend, as its engine has been hijacked for Anniversary. That's not a bad thing, since Legend is the only Tomb Raider game to hold a candle to the original. Combat still amounts to holding auto-aim and firing en masse at whatever toothed animal is trying to make some Lara cakes. The difference is that they can get really angry after taking multiple flesh wounds, triggering a new charge attack that you can dodge and slow up. There's also a minuscule timed event that can let you euthanize most foes with a single slug. The enemies are sparse, but they do a great job of breaking up the environmental challenges, or turning a previously deserted hallway into a narrow valley of death. The modern engine keeps the game honest, giving Lara's acrobatics legs to stand on giving her the proper momentum to decrypt the crypts. The combat can feel rote at times, but it's used in such exacting portions that it never becomes an unwelcome addition. Due to the occasional frame rate dip and the inevitable constant circle strafing, this reimagining of Miss Croft's premier pursuit falls just short of top shelf. But the new control scheme has made it infinitely more playable, and the additions of quick time events and new areas tint it modern. And the Grand Cave Explorer from 1996 is still intact and still fantastic. Now, if we could only find that nude code. 